hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial i will guide you about c sharp attributes an attribute is a declarative tag that is used to convey information to runtime about the behavior of various elements like classes methods structures enumerators assemblies etc in your program you can add declarative information to a program by using an attribute a declarative tag is syntaxed as square braces attribute are used for adding metadata such as compiler instruction and other information such as comments description methods and classes to a program the dotnet framework provide us two type of attribute the predefined attributes and custom built attributes here let's move on to specify an attribute the basic syntax is in square bracket first attribute and there are one and two parameters the first parameter is positional parameter and second is name parameter the name of the attribute and its values are specified with the square bracket okay like here is a square bracket it's the name and it's the values before the element to which the attribute is applied positional parameters specify essential information and the name parameters specify the optional information so the first parameter is the essential information and the second parameter is the optional information now the dotnet framework provide us three predefined attributes attributes usage conditional and obsolete the attribute usage is predefined attribute describe how a custom attribute class can be used it specify the types of item to which the attribute can apply here is the syntax the name valid on allow multiple and inherited the three parameters which we will use whenever the attribute usage is called where the parameter valid on specify the language of element on which the attribute can be placed it is a combination of value of a enumerator attribute target the default value of attribute targets all now the allow multiple is optional provide value for the allow multiple property of this attribute a boolean value if this is true the attribute is multi-use the default is false for single usage the parameter inherited is also optional and provide value for the inherited property of this attribute it's a boolean value if it is true the attribute is inherited by the drive classes the default value is false which will make it non inheritable so here is a syntax attribute usage the first is the valid on attribute target dot class it's the second attribute which is allow multiple or not this is allow multiples and this is here the allow multiple is true and these are the inherited which we have used now move on to the next conditional the predefined attribute mark a conditional method whose execution depend on a specific processing identifier it calls conditional compilation of method called depending on the specific value such as debug or trace for example it display the value of the variable while debugging a code and here is the condition it's the condition it's a conditional sim symbol and it's the sample code conditional debug okay now let's move on to its conditional example uh, i have a code already and uh, now we will 
open here and uh, remove the unnecessary code from our program like uh, I will on button click I want to okay so here is the example I have declared a defined debug here and I have used system diagnostic class uh, sorry namespace and in my console application I have created a class name as my class and apply conditional attribute debug create a static method name as message pass a string message and write on console that message this is my main program okay uh, this is the main program led to here I have create a first function f1 and declare that my class dot message in function 1 and after this go to the function 2 in function 2 I have said my class dot message in function 2 and I am calling the function 1 from our main method void main here I, ha I have said that my class do, uh, dot message in main function and after this execute function 1 and console dot read key so when I will execute this program it will show me first in main function then in function 2 and then in function uh, function 1 and then function 2 okay so here is our output declaring that it's in function 1 a main function then in function 1 and then in function 2 we have applied a condition that's why conditional attribute will go through one by one and doing debugging I hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you still have any kind of question regarding attribute you can consult us and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Take care.